What's up, everybody? This is a Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening. And today we will be discussing the Black Moon Lilith in the sign of Capricorn. This was a request. I am honoring this request today. Of course, all the requests that I keep on getting, I am going to do all and every single one that everyone is asking. But you know how the world is. You have to be a wife. You have to go to work. You have to do all types of shit. So if I have not gotten to your request yet, don't worry. Hold tight. Sit tight. I'm coming, okay? So um, let's address what the Black Moon Lilith is all about, okay? So we know that in ancient mythology that um, Lilith was known to be Adam's first wife. It was not Eve. So she was made from the ground, the dirt, just like Adam. They had and held with inside of them the same mental capacity, the same strengths uh, and weaknesses. They were like just the same. So Lilith did not like the fact that um, Adam was supposed to be over her, controlling her. Um, the one calling the shots, the shot caller. She did not like that. She did not want to be um, overpowered by this man. She wanted to be free. She wanted to be liberated. She wanted to be very much unconventional. And because of this, because she did not want to be submissive, God cast her out of the garden. And then God went on to make Eve to be a suitable mate for Adam so that uh, Eve could be more uh, submissive. You see what I'm saying? Just a better mate for him. So it was said that Lilith went on to sleep with the demons, you know what I'm saying, fucking the demons, being possessed by the devil, feeling free and liberated, all right? Lilith in general is about your raw sexual nature. It has to do with your devilish, devious acts. It is about being very much a destructive and even self-destructive. Okay, a destroyer, wanting to tear shit the fuck up. This is what Lilith is all about. Okay, so now in this video, of course, if you have Black Moon Lilith and Capricorn, of course there's going to be things that um, you don't like because that's just what this shit is about. It's going to be about things that you don't like. So now the regular moon is about your emotions. It's about your instincts. It's about your shadow self. But now the Black Moon Lilith, is the darker side to that regular moon that you have. A lot of times your black moon Lilith is going to be in a different sign. But it doesn't have to be. It can be in the same exact sign, but it's still going to be the darker side to your regular moon. Okay, now let's get into what Capricorn uh, represents and what is Capricorn all about. So now Capricorn is um, a sign that is an earth sign. Okay, it is cardinal earth. So they are the initiators. You see what I'm saying? Capricorns are very um, structured. They are about being disciplined, um, very ambitious. They are go-getters. They are shot callers. They are serious about life as far as obtaining a goal and obtaining success. So they are passionate and very much driven and geared towards um, making power moves. Um, Capricorns in general... Even if they um, are in a relationship, they want that um, solidness. They want that discipline to the relationship. They want order. They want structure. And um, Saturn is about authority. Saturn is ruled by um, Saturn. Okay, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. So because of this, um, it's going to be a lot of um, restrictions, um, being very stern, uh, having an authority, you know what I'm saying? Power, uh, money, power, respect. And this is what the fuck Capricorn is all about. Very serious nature. Okay, so we're going to jump into this right now. Black Moon Lilith in the sign of Capricorn. Now, these men and women are very much obsessed with power. They're obsessed with power. They are the shot callers. They want to call the shots. And they do have a righteous or a regal persona about them. 
This placement is actually one of the most powerful placements for Lilith to be in, along with um, Lilith in Aquarius, Black Moon Lilith in Pisces, Scorpio is also another powerful placement, and Gemini. Okay, those are the powerful placements in this area. The most powerful. Okay, but all of them are going to play their parts. It doesn't mean that just because it's not powerful, that it's not, um, it doesn't hold no weight. They all hold weight. That's why it's in your damn chart. Moving back into the Black Moon Lilith in Capricorn men and women. These men and women can have sex for high status or even high positions of power in life. Okay, they can go out there. They can um, sleep for a deal. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you for a deal. They can um, go out there and um, really do some real devious and devilish things. They can even gain um, extreme amount of power. Okay? These men and women are going to be very um, alluring. Okay? It's going to be something about them that um, when you see them, that they have... Um, Money, power, respect, kind of like written all over them. So you could definitely see these type of men and women surrounding themselves around things of that nature. People that are in powerful positions. People that um, have a good rep in the um, society. People that um, hold it down in the hood. Things of this nature. This is the type of shit with displacement. Okay, you can even see that... Um, they're dealing with somebody, even if it's, uh, they could be dealing with a gangster. They could be dealing with, um, a president. They could be dealing with, uh, politicians. Uh, anybody that's in some kind of high status, these men and women are drawn to that. If it has to do with religion, um, these men and women will probably be drawn to wanting to be with a pastor or wanting to be with a bishop and just wanting that power, wanting that control. They want to be a first lady of the church. You see what I'm saying? All of these things can go on and take place, and they can um, really have their minds geared towards those things a lot, okay? As I said before, this is a powerful placement. Um, these men and women, okay, their courage and their strength will be tested by the universe. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Their courage and strength will definitely be tested by the universe because what is going on here is that these men and women, um, they seek out um, the status. They seek out wanting to be powerful. And they can go to great lengths to even step on people's fucking heads to get to the top, um, cut people down, um, throw shit on people's names just so they can be the one on top. This is what happens. Now, Capricorn in general definitely wants to be on top. We already know that they want to be on top. They're very passionate and driven towards that. But here, you can be very malicious. Uh, you can be very manipulative. Um, even, um, what's the word? Vindictive. These men and women can be very vindictive. Wanting to go and do anything because they are so fucking power hungry and they feel that they need an ultimate need ultimate control over situations over things in their life okay these men and women can have a deep rooted fear they can have a deep rooted fear of not being respected they can have a fear behind um feeling like they're not going to have enough, being poor, living in poverty, not being fully loved. These men and women can struggle with all of these fears that I just said, okay? Uh, also with displacement, um, Lilith and Capricorn, men and women could have experienced um, a lot of abuse of their power, okay? Because they seek out the power so intensely so strongly they can really um abuse their fucking ultimate powers that they do hold with inside of them out to do um people dirty out to do malicious things okay they are the real definition of the damn devil okay and this might be devastating to hear if you have this placement okay i don't mean to laugh because this shit ain't funny but um this is just what it is okay they are also um very scared 
that they will um, die without a spouse around them. They do look for companionship. They do want to be involved in a um, committed relationship. And that is another ultimate fear for them. They fear of um, being alone, uh, being in this world alone, not with the love, the compassion, and all of those things that come along with love. They fear that, but they want to really be paired up in a partnership where it's surrounded by money, where it's surrounded by power, respect, and being very rich, being very wealthy, being um, in a place of that nature. So now these men and women can very well um, feel like if they do not have those things, okay, they can even just marry for the sake of money. Marrying for security and not for unconditional love. All right. So you know how some people um, get involved with people and they are opportunists. Well, this is exactly what this placement can lead to and towards. You can be an opportunist. You can get involved with somebody knowing damn well you don't really give a fuck about them to that full extent. Like you might care a little bit. You don't want to see shit happen to them, but you don't really give a fuck about them on that unconditional love. You can marry people for just um, the sake of being good, the sake of your own comfort zone, all right? So you could marry somebody for their money, marry somebody. You can even marry somebody so that you can obtain their money. And um, when they die, now you collect all the money and you, you could even be anticipating for your spouse to just pass on because you know that they have... Um, $500,000 in the bank. You see what I'm saying? A um, million dollars, life insurance, and things of this nature. So you can um, really anticipate your partner's death. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing with this placement, these men and women, they can have side bitches. They can have um, side dudes. So you're married, in a long relationship, but you got your own things going on on the side. You're fucking with somebody else. You're dealing with them. And what ends up happening a lot of times with this placement that the main person that they really deal with is not the one that they're really full-blown in love with. They really can be very much dissatisfied, not content in that relationship. So they look towards the side bitches and the side dudes, and then they actually love the side people more than the actual spouse. That's what ends up happening with this placement. Okay? Women can really hate, the women of this placement can really hate men because they believe that the men in this world hold more power. So the women that hold this placement, Black Moon, Lilith, and Capricorn, you can really have a lot of... um power struggles, power issues uh, with authority figures as far as um, the men, the male role goes, all right? You can look at a man and um, maybe you desire and wish that um, you could be just like him or maybe even wishing that you was a man so that you can um, call more shots because this is a shot caller uh, position. They call shots, they make moves, power moves, and they're driven by this. They're, they're driven by power. Our money and respect, high status in this world. If they're in a hood, if they're in their community, they want to be recognized for um, I'm that shit, I'm that chick, I'm that dude, I'm that bitch. You know, this is how they look at it. You know, I'm all of that, and you know it, and you see it. You need to recognize it. They are like that. They are like that. Even if they don't come out and say it like that, that's how the fuck they feel. Okay, these men and women do have a um, ruthless mind and they can sell their soul for money, power and respect. Also status and high recognition in this world. So these are the type of men and women that um, could go to great lengths to um, obtain the power, obtain the gold. All right, they can even um, go to the extent of selling their soul. Because what happens is um, in their life, okay, they grew up in, nine times out of ten, they grew up in poverty. 
okay? Um, their parents could have been struggling, could have been struggling with addictions. You see what I'm saying? They could have um, probably not been living with either one of their fucking parents and the grandparents were raising them. They could have been adopted. So it's so many different things that could have went on and took place. But now if the parents were in the home, okay, this really does represent that um, your parents did uh, struggle quite often, quite a bit to provide for you. And because of this, it's an inclination that's in your mind. It's something that's in your head that I do not want to be broke no more. I do not want to struggle. I will reach the top. I will um, achieve my goals at any course that I need to go. Okay, now the men... The men with this placement definitely um, seek out success, power, money, and they want to be able to um, conquer their opponents, okay, and will end up being very wealthy. So the men are definitely going to be very wealthy, and the women can um, also be very wealthy, but it can be also through um, partnerships, Um through people of power, men of power, they can um, accumulate this, all right? Uh, the men also, the men of displacement also want to be acknowledged in the hood as untouchable and in an untouchable way. They want um, kind of like people to uh, fear them, but not so much really fear them. They really don't want people to um, come up against them. Okay, want them to um, pump their brakes. They want people to uh, fall the fuck back when they are around their presence. They want people to act accordingly, all right, and not overstep any fucking boundaries, okay? However, these men and women want to control their surroundings and be a inspirational and an inspiration to others, okay, this is the ultimate goal, is to be an inspiration to somebody, regardless of if they're going to step on somebody's fucking head, regardless if they're going to um, stab you in your fucking back, take your spot so they can be in it, um, their real true uh, outcome is that they want to be powerful and they want to be an inspiration to somebody in this world, all right? Another thing that is highly potent for this placement is that these men and women can kill for money, all right? They can kill their partners. You can kill your friends. Uh, somebody cross you. You could go too fucking far and um, off motherfuckers. Off them right the fuck off. Knock them off. And even if you don't even go to the extreme of actually killing somebody, you can definitely um, do devilish and devious things to um, throw things in other people's way so that they cannot fully um, succeed and move forward from it, okay? Another thing with this placement, okay, their partners can be um, a eye candy. Their spouses, um, most definitely. Their spouses can definitely be um, the ideal woman and the ideal man, okay? They can be uh, very powerful influential also could have a high status in life or just have extreme um recognition in the hood all right so now if we're dealing with the hood motherfuckers right okay the men are gonna mess with a woman that is um about that life about that shit and the same thing if it's a woman she's gonna deal with a guy that's about that life and about that shit um well known in the hood for um, knocking you the fuck out. Well known in the hood and well respected in the hood. Okay, now if it has to do with the high status, it's going to be um, that this person has a lot of money. Um, they can provide. They can um, really show up in that kind of way. Their go getters also. People are drawn to them and people listen to what they have to say. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. So it is a um, total package as far as their partners go. But even though that their partners will be a total package as far as the spouses, married couples, they can still be dissatisfied. 
in some shape or form with their partners. I don't know what's lacking. It may be uh, maybe they're too aggressive or maybe they don't listen to what um, the Black Moon, Lilith, and Capricorn has to say, dismissing them or whatever the case may be. But whatever it is, these men and women seem to um, want to still have side chicks and side dudes so that they can go off and fuck them and start really feeling the side pieces more than their actual um, main damn partners. Okay? But their uh, spouses can be very uh, pleasing to the eye and can um, also just be uh, very nice to look at. All right, what else can I say about this placement? Um, they are the real opportunists and looking for a come up, okay? They want to better their surroundings. They want to better their world. They um, jump on opportunities like no other okay these are the people that when they see something good or they think this could be beneficial for them they is on it they not waiting they jumping right on it you want to do what you want to do oh yes these men and women they want to do what the fuck they want to do they don't like listening to what other people have to say as far as what it is that they're going to do all right they are about self preservation, all right? So, this placement is um, some kind of placement to have if you have it. Um, a lot of things going on here. As far as your ruthless mind and that you can sell your soul, all right? Um, hopefully, you do have um, other things in your chart that can smooth out this energy. But a lot of times when people do sell their souls, what ends up happening is that um, they went through so much traumatic things in their life, uh, a lot of trauma. They do not want to be poor and, and have poverty at all in their life. And when offers arise and um, things are being presented on the table, they can um, start feeling like maybe they should lean towards that way so that they will never be fucked up again. Okay, so they can definitely, uh, like I said, they can um, have sex. Okay, and these men and women do love to have sex. They can um, have sex just to be on top, have sex for a high position in life, have sex to be the manager at the company. They can um, do these things, okay? Be married to somebody, fucking their boss. Be married to somebody, fucking the producer. You see what I'm saying? But for them, okay, it could just be that they're fucking just to get to the top. But if it has to do with their side chicks and their side dudes, as I said before, they can really start feeling it. And what it is for the Black Moon and um, Black Moon, Lilith, and Capricorn, these men and women, um, it is a thrill for them. And that's why they start getting drawn to the side chicks and side dudes because it's something exciting. You don't have to deal with the pressure. You don't feel like you have to answer to anybody. So now you feel like you're in control. You feel like you have the power and you get the respect from here. Where with their partners and their fucking spouses, they feel like their spouses don't um really give them the respect. Acknowledge them for who the fuck they are. They gotta go back and forth and um, bicker with you and shit like that. So um, that's why they can um, do those kind of things, but they are obsessed with um, power. However, they are the shot callers. All right? And that's all I'm gonna say about this placement for now. Please be sure to check out my online store. It is Grimy Gear at www.grimygear.com. If you need a caterer, I am the chef goddess also. And you can hit me up at Supreme Roy Al Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, swimming pool, or business, be sure to hit him up at a Ron Nesbitt 90 at gmail.com. His business is Steve's Handy Helpers. If you need me to analyze a birth chart for you, the price has changed. It is now $50. If you need a synastry chart or a composite chart, it will be $70. Also, if anybody needs a tarot card reading in love and relationship, spirituality, your health, money, finances, or your career, it will be $30. And it is not limited to um, 15 minutes. It's not limited to 30 minutes. However long it takes for your reading to be, that is just what the price is going to be. 
If you need any further information, um, you can look in the description below. If I have not yet put it in the description, you can go on my channel click on the link that says about and all the services are right there for you to um take full advantage of if you would like okay so this has been a force of nature spiritual awakening love is love peace and blessings to you all and i will see you on the next one